Hello viewers, welcome back to my another video. We couldn't hold back our tears at our final farewell to Angie Dickinson. Goodbye Angie Dickinson. 16 years after her passing, Angie Dickinson continues to honor her fantastic and very talented daughter in private. A few months after her last public appearance, Angie Dickinson conducted a rare interview. She remarked of her daughter's passing, I respect her memory every minute, every hour, and every single day. After deciding to live a hidden life after losing her only kid, she opened up about her present lifestyle. The retired actress Angie Dickinson became well-known after acting in the Western drama series Rio Bravo, 1959. During the Turner Classic Film Festival, she recently gave a presentation on the 4K world premiere restoration of Rio Bravo. Dickinson appeared in the program alongside legendary actors John Wayne, Ricky Nelson, and Dean Martin. Nowadays, Rio Bravo is regarded as a classic of Western cinema. In a subsequent interview, Dickinson remarked, I knew it was going to be an exceptional event, but I didn't realize how extraordinary. She enjoyed a prosperous five-decade entertainment career after the program made her famous, and she has subsequently made appearances in more than 50 films. The North Dakota native debuted in Ocean's Eleven, and after acting in the popular criminal drama series Policewoman in the 1970s, she became well-known. Dickinson said when asked how she got the job, there was another program before the show called Police Story, and in its season finale, there was a female policeman undercover. David Gerber, the executive producer of the program, met her when she was shooting the 1974 crime comedy Big Bad Mama. She also remembered that he had asked her whether she wanted to be a celebrity. She chose to join the show after realizing that she genuinely did want to be one at that point. After 16 years, Dickinson is still grieving for her daughter. Dickinson has been married twice in addition to her job. She initially wed Jean Dickinson in 1952, and the couple separated in 1960. Then, in 1965, she married musician Bert Bakarich. Bakarich tragically passed away in February 2023. He has a daughter named Lee with Dickinson. She was one of his four kids, but Dickinson was their sole parent. When Lee was born three months early in 1966, she was put in a preemie isolate right away. She was off limits to contact. Dickinson thinks that's likely the reason her daughter spent the majority of her life by herself. She wrote in an article published in the August 2010 issue of Los Angeles Magazine, even the physicians back then didn't grasp the value of touch, that if you never get touched, hear a loving voice, or be held in those early months, you won't ever feel real or feel linked to anything. After Lee's birth, her mother kept close to home since she had autism. By hugging her, conversing with her, and making sure she was aware of her surroundings, the television personality hoped to establish a connection with her little child. Lee's actions nevertheless got worse as she aged. She kicked walls to vent her annoyance and tore pages off books. Autism was less frequent back then than it is now, and many people had little to no knowledge about it. Dickinson said that she didn't begin talking until she was three years old. She participated in a variety of sports as a youngster, including ballet, horseback riding, gymnastics, swimming, and scuba diving. Therefore, she grew up to be an active person. Dickinson gushed that her cherished kid could play the piano like a genius at the age of four. She also exhibited strange tendencies, such as ripping the tails off of her toy horses or the hair on her dolls. Lee was also a hoarder. She kept everything she could get her hands on in her closet, including dog poop and an old battery. Lee sadly killed herself by suffocation in January 2007. She said that her well-known mother had read the book Last Exit and had frequently discussed suicide. Dickinson spoke about happily witnessing her child sing in church on her final Christmas Eve and expressed the following about the occasion. Despite the fact that I could not hear her above the noise of everyone else, 
I grinned when I saw her singing with such enthusiasm. Now that she understood where she was heading, she felt liberated and at ease. Her mother stayed close to home when Lee was born. By hugging her, conversing with her, and making sure she was aware of her surroundings, the television personality hoped to establish a connection with her little child. Lee's actions nevertheless got worse as she aged. She kicked walls to vent her annoyance and tore pages off books. Autism was less frequent back then than it is now, and many people had little to no knowledge about it. When Dickinson was asked to describe her daughter in a recent interview, she said, Nikki was amazing and incredibly brilliant. She had weak eyesight since she was born early. She had to play everything by ear because she couldn't read music, but she liked to play the drums. The Point Blank star said, I cherish her memory every minute, every hour, and every single day, when asked how she honored Lee's memory. Years after her daughter's passing, Dickinson divulges details about her life. Dickinson began leading a quiet life after losing her kid and suffering through two divorces. She made her final public appearance when she opened the TCM Classic Film Festival on April 13, 2023. The actress, who is now 91 years old, contested the claim that she still looked beautiful at 79 years old in an interview from 2011 by asserting that I look my age while still claiming to feel two decades younger. Dickinson was recently asked what she did to maintain her health. She admitted that despite calling herself a vegetarian, she occasionally eats country fried chicken. She doesn't eat large meals and sleeps for eight hours. The dress to kill diva also tends to her own garden and avoids problems. When Dickinson was questioned about regrets in an interview in 2019, she acknowledged having a few of them. She acknowledged, you wish you had done things differently. Dickinson, though, claimed she had a great time while reflecting on her protracted acting career. Everyone ought to be so fortunate. It has brought me a great deal of delight, she continued. Dickinson provided some advice when asked about the things she has learned during her most recent interview. I've discovered not to, if at all possible, miss a sunset. When I want to curse like crazy, I've learned to be gentle. I've also learned to quit talking when I've had enough, said Dickinson. Thanks for watching my video.